I am Lefred, so welcome to this new video series, MySQL 101. It's MySQL for beginners. We will see during this, all these videos how to install MySQL on different platforms, how to use it, how to install the clients, MySQL Shell, MySQL Shell for Visual Studio Code, how to add data in tables, or to delete data, how to play with JSON data type, and so on. So stay tuned for extra videos, and let's start right now. Today, it's about tables. In MySQL, or in a relational database, what is a table? In a relational database model, a table is a storage of data elements organized in terms of rows and columns, and these tables are, of course, in a schema. A table is also considered as a convenient representation of relations. We will see that another time. In NoSQL, such data element storage is also called a collection. So how do I create a table in MySQL? So you remember we have created a menagerie a schema or database and inside we can create tables. So we will create a pet table. So we use menagerie and then we create a pet table with a definition of each columns. So here we have a column called name, owner ID, species and sex for the, the pet, right? So as you can see, there is some types like varchar, int, varchar, char. This type, we will see them in the next video. But now this is how we create a table. We defined all the columns and then we will add records in it later. So this is an example, live example on how to do it. So I'm using, uh, of course, uh, MySQL shell for Visual Studio Code. I am connected in uh, MySQL database uh, service in OCI. And I create, I use menagery so that we created last time. And here I create the table pet. So here I use create table pet. And then I give a name for each column. So the first name is name. Then I said that this name is a var chart 20. So it can have any type of characters in it. There is an owner ID, which will be an integer, so a number unsigned, so no um, negative numbers. Then I define another column called species, which also be a varchar. and the sex of the pet that will be a char one. So this is how we create a table. And the table now is created. So we can do show a tables to see all the table in the current schema. And as you can see, I have created also in the background another one called owner. And if you want to list a specific uh, table, uh, a table from a specific schema, you can do show tables in and the name of the schema or the database. So here, show tables in menagerie. So we can do it again here in MySQL shell for Visual Studio Code. We do show tables and we can see that the tables are here. And we can see it also directly here on the left inside Visual Studio Code. And I can do again, show tables in menagerie, and we will see the same result. We can also uh, check the table information using the, the syntax show create table and the name of the table. And I use here backslash um, G to have uh, not a column, but a line output. And here we have all the information about uh, how the table is created. And as you can see, there is a bit more information than what we created. For example, we see the engine, it used a default, which is InnoDB, but it also used a char set that is defined by default. It's UTF-8 and before in MySQL 8. There is also a primary key, but we will uh, um, see that uh, also a bit later. But as you can see, this Miro ID we never define it uh, ourselves, and we can see that it was also invisible keyword. So let's have a look here. Show create table pet. 
and we can see the, the same output than uh, on the previous um, slide and we can see it's exactly the same so here it provides us the uh, create table statement you can copy paste the create table statement and create a, a table somewhere else with exactly the same definition you can also use the keyword describe or desk to have information about all the fields all the columns that are um, part of the table and if sql generated invisible primary key is enabled which is recommended mysql will generate a primary key for you if you don't define one and this is why we had the my row id uh, here defined as a big int unsigned auto increment and primary key so here we can see that my row id here it's invisible but it's there and if we check the variable sql generated we can see sql generated invisible primary key it's on so to modify a table we can use the alter keyword um, and we can modify the structure of a table in this case i will change the sex column from char1 to an enum female or male with the default female so alter table pet modify and i change the name of the column and i provide the new definition for that column Enum, it's, it provides us the information between these two um, values only. It's also recommended when you create tables to, def to add some comments on the table. So you can do alter table and a comment and provide a comment. And this comment is also available in the tables definition, like here. Comment, you can see at the, at the end pet demo table for mysql 101 or you can also query information schema to get all the comments for all the tables so in this case you can see that owner has no comment but pet has one so to create a comment again alter table the name of the table which is pet and we add a comment so we call it comment and we provide the content of it. Pet demo table for MySQL 101. And now, if we check it, we run show create table again. We can see that the comment with the typo on table it's here. If we check in the information schema, so table name, table command from information schema in the table tables, and I only want all the tables that are part of the menagerie database or menagerie schema. So I check where table schema. equal menagerie we can see here we see the comment for the table now to delete a table we use the keyword drop sql keyword drop so drop table and the table name so drop table pet and the table pet it's deleted directly so here if i check the table so show tables we can see it owner only and no more pet i refresh here the tables in the database connection list and we see for the table we have only owner you can also delete it from here to drop the owner right click and you can see it's deleted and there are no more tables in this schema 
In the next video, we will see about data types. Thank you. Bye-bye.